It is almost time for my spirit season, summer. So I have 15 eyeshadow palettes that have summer vibes to get you guys into the spirit. Hello my gorgeous ones, welcome to Alicia Budget Beauty. My name is Alicia, here on my channel I love all things affordable fashion, beauty, and fragrance. I do hauls, tutorials, reviews, eyeshadow palette recommendations, all sorts of fun stuff. So if that sounds good to you, please subscribe, stick around, be a friend. All right you guys, so yes, summer is my spirit season. I am the ultimate summer girl. I, I come alive. I come alive, I come out of my shell. I'm a different person. I'm not even exaggerating. I'm an entirely different person. <laughs> In the summertime, I go from being a hermit to a social butterfly. I go from being mentally and creatively stunted to a prolific, I was about to say procreating rabbit, but that makes no sense, okay. I just, I, I produce a lot of stuff, not a lot of children. Okay, you got, anyway, I'm getting, <laughs> all right, I love summer. So I've got 15 eyeshadow palettes to show you guys right now. And this is not to get you to spend money, not to get you to go buy these palettes. If you are in the market, maybe this will give you some recommendations for a few, but maybe you already have these in your collection and just remind you to get them back out. Or maybe this will inspire you to just pull out some of your own that aren't in this group and get ready for some summer vibes. So let me go ahead and show you guys what is on my eyes today. I'm loving this look so much. It's just, it's bright, it's fun. And I also, I'm not gonna tell you guys all the qualifications I had for this. I don't need to tell you guys this. Like you know what summer looks like. So. This is the Culture Palette from Juvia's Place. And I have to say this palette is underrated and I have underused it. Here is the color story. And as you can see, it is very bright, is very colorful and vibrant, but you do also have some kind of grounding neutrals in here as well. This is not a full on rainbow palette to me because you don't have the reds in here, but you do have these gorgeous like corally tones, some peachy tones, the pinks, and then the greens, blues, the purples, and then you do have these sort of neutral summer leaning warm tones in here. The quality of this is excellent. And I mean, just, just look at that inner corner, look at the lids. You have a few different textures of shimmers in here. You have some that are almost like a pressed glitter, but not quite. So don't let that scare you if you don't like glitter. On the top of my eye, I have this one right here, Calabash. And it's very kind of gritty like a glitter would be. And it is just so pretty though. You see how it has that kind of peachy pink gold shift to it. Very, very pretty. In the inner corner, I have a feek, and it's a lot smoother, and it has this shift of like a pink to like a gold, to a green, to a blue. Crazy still to me, you guys, that Juvia's has these shifty, shadows, some multi-chromes, some shifty shimmers, and it's still so affordable. Um, also, I, I decided there's a few palettes that I'm not showing in here that I'm gonna save for a different category of summer. I have a few ideas for within summer, different categories. So if some of these, if, if you're like, where's, where's my favorite? Or I know she has this palette, why is she not including it? It may come in a future Summer Vibes video. Okay, next up we have Luna Magic Goddess. So if you don't know this brand, this brand got started actually because of Shark Tank. Um, it is an Afro-Latina owned, co-owned brand, or there may be three now. I know there were definitely two owners and they got their start on Shark Tank, super cool. They wanted to bring affordability and fun, high quality makeup to the masses, but that was affordable. And this palette, the Goddess palette, you guys, is ultra pigmented. The mattes in here are very pigmented, and then you do have a couple of gorgeous shimmers in here as well. Very, very bright, very, very fun. This is kind of like your like festive sort of, summer vibes, like Miami sort of vibes, very tropical looking. Absolutely love, love, love this brand, and I don't think that they get quite enough credit. 
Next up, we have the Iconic London Beachside Bare Eyeshadow Palette. Now, this is different vibes for sure. This is exactly what it sounds like, it is a beachy vibes palette. So you have these sandy sort of tones in here, and then you also have the kind of oceany tones with the blue and this gorgeous green in here that is a stunning green shimmer. I never gave Iconic London too, too much thought when it came to their eyeshadow palettes. The Booming and Gleaming palette from them is a neutral palette that I do really like. I reach for that when I just need like a neutral. I, it's, it's not like the most world life changing palette or formula, but I do like it. But this is really, really good, you guys. Like I wish that they would kind of lean more into this and and go with these real metallic shimmers that are in here that are an awesome formula and do fun color stories like this. This is such a wearable palette for so many. Very, very beachy. Then we have the Give Me Glow Nightlife palette. So this is a magnetic palette and it's it came all like this, but not put together. So you could arrange it however you wanted. This is just how I happen to lay everything down. Giant pans in here. This is Miami Nights. That's what this is. This is sunset vibes with like the palm tree over the ocean. Uh, I could see some kind of like 80s to this as well, early 90s. And the formula is excellent. The pans are also massive. This is also a fantastic palette to double use as blush. I have used, I think all of the mattes. So these are the shimmers, these are the mattes here. Does that not look like a gorgeous blush palette to you? Absolutely recommend using it for both. Um, really, really excellent fun palette. Then we have one of the only ColourPop palettes that I have left in my collection. I've decluttered most, I have just a few, three or four left. This is the Malibu Barbie palette and it's just, it's fun. It's fun and every time I think, all right, I'm pretty much decluttered all of my ColourPop. I could probably declutter this one too. I use it and I really, really like my look. So I'll probably just end up keeping this. It's really cute, it's fun. I like the turquoise in here, the orange. This um, pink shimmer is also really pretty and then you do have a couple of neutrals in here as well. Then we have the Citrus Punch Palette from Simply Posh Cosmetics. And I could probably get a really, really similar look to what I'm wearing right now with um, Culture Palette with this one. But this is also, you guys, becoming available again. So I'm about to get the new Coastal Palette. I might have it by the time you guys see this. So in the future, that might be in a summer video. It's a very different sort of vibe. It's more of that beachy, coast sort of vibe, not like bright punchy colors, not like this, but this will be available again. A lot of people missed out getting it the first time and it will be available again. And uh, along with, I think the Aura palette, which I also love, but this one is just so fun. This one's also good for blushes. It's just smaller pans. So you kind of have to, you know, be careful digging in there, but really love this. The shimmers are very sparkly, kind of like the one I have on my lid. That's more of that sort of gritty, sparkly, not so much of like a smooth metallic, but I think that is really beautiful on the eyes. Next, we have the Trace Luce palette, the I Am palette. Now this was Becky G's makeup line. I don't know what's going on with it, you guys. They did an Instagram post a while back saying like, basically like, it's been fun guys, thanks for all the love, like peace. But they didn't officially say that they were closing the brand. So I don't know if they're just rebranding. I hope that's the case. I do think that they lost their footing a little bit. I think they lost their direction. This was the first item they came out with and this palette blew me away. It made me so excited for the brand. And it was also very inexpensive. I wanna say this palette was around 28, 30, 34 at the most dollars. I kinda of thought it would be more. I don't think it should be priced more. I just thought a celebrity brand, it's probably gonna be a cash grab. It ended up being an excellent palette. I love that you have half vibrant sort of Miami over here, tropical, and then you do have this little six pan over here that is all neutrals. 
love my looks with this. I love this yellow. One of my favorite yellows in my whole collection. So I hope that they regroup, come back with something as good as that. Next, we have the Nomad Cartagena palette. Now, I believe this is discontinued. I know it went on sale for a while, real cheap to get rid of them, discontinued. So I'm sorry if you can't get this anymore, but this one's just really fun, bright pinks, peachy orange and yellows. I mean, this is, this is like the sunny, um, you know, pink lemonade, lemonade sort of palette. And it's not my favorite, favorite formula of Nomads, but I still think it's a really good formula. And these are also ones I would recommend to use as blushes if you have it. Also by Nomad, we have my favorite, the Paradise Islands palette. And this is my favorite because I just adore this color story. Like this is just the ocean to me. Like you couldn't do anything better as far as when I think ocean and like underneath and like the blues and then the corals and the green that's in, you know, like the vegetation growing in there. I just, I think it was perfect and it just makes me really happy of warm and cool. You can kind of go day to night with this. Will always be a nomad love for me. Next, we have the Glamlight Barbie palette. So this is more, I feel like, of your nighttime summer looks in here. This is your, you know, deep purples, your, your sunset as it's sinking into the horizon and everything's getting darker in the evening. That's what I think of this. Of course, you do have a little bit of pops of brightness in here. Definitely more of just like a deep saturated summer palette for me. I think this is my favorite Glam Light palette that I own. I really need to dip into this more, actually. Um, I think I like it better than, like, my Michaela palette, better than I uh, actually decluttered my um, Happy Hour palettes. I just think this one is excellent. I really, really love the formula in this one. Then we have Royal Rose by Cosmic Brushes. So this one I have not used as much as I would like to. Even though this was their first palette, this was the last or second to last one I believe that I got. And if you guys don't know this brand, you need to. I don't love how they operate because they're very like, when they come on the scene and they have a new palette, there is hysteria around it because the formula is excellent and they are extremely cheap. Like we're talking 20, I think this palette originally was like 22, something like that for a UK based indie brand. That's like almost unheard of. Um, and then they did go up a little bit more on their more recent palettes, but still like $30, you know, very, very inexpensive, amazing quality, but it creates all this hysteria and then they just disappear. They don't like engage much with people. They don't engage with customers, with like creators that they don't send PR to, hello. So I don't love that, but I do love their formula. And um, this palette's fun, because this is kind of, you know, you're half neutral, half bright summery, and then with some deeper tones in here as well. This palette, you guys, I wish this was still available. This is the uh, Beauty Bay Sunset Horizons palette. I think I bought this for like $10. Now it wasn't brand new at the time. It's when they were clearing them out. And that was such a steal. And what I see when I look at this palette, daytime, bright, sunny, fun, summertime into nighttime. It's very much a half and half warm, cool day, night palette. I think this is so good. The formula is excellent. Like you guys really need to try Beauty Bay. Very, very cheap, cheap and very good quality. Also cheap and good quality is the Mora Fun Is In The Air palette. So here is this baby. I, gosh, I show this in like almost all my palette rankings. I feel like I just adore this palette and I'm a broken record, but the reason, a couple of reasons, this gray makes everything for me. And I know gray is a, it's a really underused shade. I hear people all the time say they don't really do grays. You don't have to do an all gray look, but use it as an accent specifically with neons. That's the other thing I love about this palette is you do have these pops of neons in here that that the duality of a cool toned gray with a neon is so cool. Just 
try it. But then you also have these kind of more saturated, fun, you know, the turquoise and the pink that make me think of summer as well. Then how could I have a summer palette without Nueva Vida by Gourmand Girls, also my girl, Steph. She is a collaborator on this. I love her, I'm really proud of her for this palette. It did so well and it is just, it's fun, bright, beachy, summery vibes in here. The kind of neon that comes into play, but there's also sort of like some pastel aspects to this too. And then you just got your saturated tones in here. This one really blew me away. Um, it, it's so good. And I think it's also one of those that have some day to night looks in it as well. And then the last one I have here is definitely a, a fave of mine in the last six months. I got this when it was cold weather time and was like, I'm diving into it anyway. Loved my looks and I can't wait to wear this this summer. This is MBA Cosmetics. It is in collaboration with Deandra Nicole. She's mega, mega, mega talented. Like she's an indie makeup PR darling. Like she gets PR from everybody and I don't blame them because she has gorgeous swatches. She has a beautiful looks. So she collaborated on this Sunset Beach palette and it really is just the ultimate like, you know, sun is setting and all the like colors are starting to warm up, bleed, and then get a little bit deeper into, you know, the mid 90 looking purples. You have shifty shades in here, really excellent quality. These tones just go beautifully together. This is also a fun pairing palette. I had a lot of fun pairing this with some other palettes. It pairs very nicely, by the way, with like fall palettes. So if you kind of want some like warm sunset -y tones mixed in with some like autumn tones. This is a perfect pairing palette. But that is it, you guys. Those are 15 summer palettes to get you guys in the mood, in the spirit. Like I said, I'm gonna have another video where I have at least two other ideas, like categories within summer that I'll present some of my other eyeshadow palettes. Let me know what some of your favorite summer palettes are or if you might pick up any of these. Thank you so much for watching. Get ready for summer. And as always, have fun shopping, budget shopping. Bye.